Um, so this kind of shows that we loaded these six data sets, we pulled them in, we added them all together, we understand there's some duplicate data points that were found and removed. And that we have these three areas identified. So basically when we start telling SMS what each, each individual um, survey, what its projection is, then we'll see them all kind of merge together into one location. So I'll go through that a little bit. So um, this just goes into setting the overall display projection. So basically what I just showed you guys, make sure you change from feet to meters. Um, we see, I have a little table here of what the different data sets are and what the projection and the units and the datum and the units and whether or not we need to convert, um, what the conversions are. Um, and that's just so we can easily go back to a table as we're working on each of these individual uh, data sets. So for each individual one, um, I just added this slide, I'm just basically saying that if you've already put some um, projections in, then you may have the ones that you need right here listed in recent projections. Um, otherwise, you'll need to do the operation that I showed before. So click on each one of these individual data sets. So in this case, um, you would choose, say, normally you would work top to bottom, but you could choose any one of these that you want. We have our um, table here. I made another little table that basically tells us instructions. We want to convert our elevations to depth um, for each data set, and then whether there anything else is needed. So each one of these tells us the steps that we need to go through. So we choose the each individual object. Um, I'm sorry, I got a little ahead of myself there. <clears throat> so this part is, is talking about the datum conversions. And so for this particular channel survey, we've got the um, channel survey in New Jersey. We've got it in feet, mean low water. And so we've got that information it's on the, the name of the file, but also we've also made a table that tells us what to do. So basically, I've combined all the different um, conversions that we need into one particular operation here. And you can do them separately or you can do them combined. Probably when you start out, it might be easier to do each one by itself. Say so feet to meters, uh, then change the sign, then change the datum from mean low water to mean sea level, things like that. Um, so for this particular case, we would be able to do um, negative V1, so that's plus the sign, and then we multiply this by 0.3048, so this is now in meters, and then we add the conversion from mean low water to mean sea level, 0.686. Um, when you finish that for each one of these, um, you will have data sets that are shown here. You may have, uh, yours may look a little bit differently, um, there's some little issue with the naming of the data sets depending on the order that was coming in. So you might have, um, these are the originals. Sometimes it just says elevation here. Um, but then you also have the other computed data sets that we have, uh, we've made. So this one means sea level, meters means sea level for each one of these. Also another thing to remember that right now, in SMS, there is no undo. So if you do something and you made a mistake, you have to basically redo everything you did. So it's a good idea to save your project uh, frequently. And then if you want to save a step at a certain place that you can come to later if you want, you can just change the name of the project and then keep moving on. Um, that way you can go back to previous versions if you want. 
But for right now, there is no undo in SMS. So please remember to save the project. So once you have all of these created, you would go in and then want to merge all of these data sets together and all using the exact same um, vertical datum. So you would go in under scatter, select the merged scatter sets that you have, then it lists all of those there, and then you would say, okay, I want to merge everything except the coastal relief model. And that's because uh, earlier I told you that you, if you use the coastal relief model, you want to make sure that it's the lowest priority. Um, so we want to do that last so we can make sure that we're only using that where there are no other points in the other files that we have together. So I've selected to merge all of the data sets except for that one. And then I've come in under data set and chosen uh, meters mean sea level for each one. And then when I come down here, there's two options. One is to merge all of the scatter points, and one is to delete um, lower priority. So for the first part, we're just going to merge all these points together. Um, they're all in um, the same datum, and so we're pretty safe in merging these together. You give it a name over here. Uh, in this case, we're going to name it Merged Survey. Um, and we're merging all of the points. You click OK. It goes out there and it merges them all together into one new data set. And then you get a merge report that basically gives you some information about what it just did, how many vertices it combined together from each data set, if there are any um, duplicated points that were removed because of the tolerance that was set, you'll get that information. And then when it's through, you'll wind up in your data tree one more um, scatter set here that says merge surveys and it's got the name of what the data set was that was used. All right? And so once you do that, this is kind of what it looks like. So this has all of the survey sets except for the coastal relief model uh, merged together. Now we need to merge in these other two. So when you're merging um, data sets with priority, um, I mentioned to you that when you triangulate these data sets, you may have a lot of triangulated elements in areas that you don't necessarily have true data, and you want to get rid of that. So that would be all of these uh, long triangular elements that are connected from where you do have data to where you don't have data. All right. And so there's different ways of getting rid of these different triangles. And so. The first thing that you want to do is go under Scatter Options and make a couple of different um, default um, values here. So in long triangles, we're going to change the maximum edge length that we want to keep to be 500 units. So in our case, we've made everything metric, so these are 500 meters. And we want to change this to say, I want to select, I'll select the long triangles and not delete. So by default, it says delete here. And this will just give, an op give us an opportunity to see what it's going to delete first and then actually get rid of it ourselves. Um, the others we can leave alone for right now. Um, and you probably want to uh, check the spot for re-triangulate the weights on the lead. So once you set that, you can go over to Triangles and then choose to select all the long triangles. When it does that, it selects everything that violates that 500 meter criteria that we specified. So all the, the elements that have edges that are longer than 500 meters are selected here, and everything else is left alone. So this is just the first step in getting rid of a lot of these extraneous um, information. So we see here it's selected those points, and then we can either hit the delete key, or there's a garbage can, um, a lot of different ways you can get rid of this, um, these points. So it removes many, but not all of the different points. And you can do these. You can either change that criteria from 500 to 250, or some other method to select these um, elements here. 
So I'm just going to show a couple of different ways to do that. So one of the ways is to, in the um, toolbar, just select the triangular element. So that's this tool here is the triangle with the arrow pointing to it. And then hold your control key down, click outside, and then with the, the left mouse button depressed, drag the whole mouse, and then you'll drag an arrow. And so everywhere that arrow points and covers, all the elements underneath that will then be selected, and then you can then delete those elements. That's the easiest way to go through and select a lot of different elements. If you want to do that, and you don't want to do uh, each one of these one at a time, you can also hold your shift key down and do this multiple times with different areas to select multiple areas. And then once you're done, you know, with all of that, you'll want to merge that merged data set. So we're, we're looking at this first one here, merged surveys. Um, we're going to enable the merge for that. And now we want to merge that with the coastal release model. So one of the options is to delete lower priority. And once we do that, we realize that the priority um, has to be managed. And so there are ways when we select one of these to move that option up or down. And so the highest priority is priority one. So we want to make sure that our coastal release model is lower than the other ones that we want to be given preferential treatment. All right. So in this case, I moved merge surveys up to one and the coastal release model up to two. I left everything else off, and then for those, I didn't make sure that the data set was the same that we want to use, so meters mean sea level. And when you combine them, they will merge everything together, um, but it keeps the triangulated areas with higher priority intact. And the portions of the coastal release model that were covered by these other data sets, they did not get imported. And then this is what the final data set looks like. We've got another data set in the tree that basically says merged all. Um, and so we know now that all of these have been merged and not just the ones except for coastal release. And so then we can look at what the appearance is. All right. And so I'm going to go back to um, the SMS real quick. And